the Great Shorty Rogers charts based on how high the moon. And with that, how about a, how about a big hand of applause for this wonderful uh, all-star band. Of course, Ron, a long time alumni of Woody Herman's orchestra. Well, first of all, welcome back to Balboa. So glad to see so many of you back. You know, it was 12 years ago when we did the original Back to Balboa in this very location, and I know a lot of you were here. As a matter of fact, how many of you were here for that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Because all of you, a lot of you, have asked us to come back here and do it again, so here we are. Um, we've put together this three and three days plus tonight's bonus event. Of course, tonight is for you, the uh, full registrants, as, uh, again, a special thank you for making these things possible, because they wouldn't be possible without you. And uh, we've been doing kind of a series the last few years of these special events, and tonight I think is something very, very special because of uh, what we're doing. You know, uh, being here in Balboa, being here in Newport Beach, near the Balboa Peninsula, where so many things happened at the Rendezvous Ballroom, including, of course, the beginning of the San Kenton Orchestra, uh, one of the things that came to mind just when uh, we were kicking ideas around of what we were going to do at this event was, you know, I always kind of liked that, uh, the broadcast of that Excursions in Modern Music, the one-night stand broadcast that featured a battle of bands between Woody Herman's orchestra at that time period, which was the second herd, and the Charlie Barnett band. Kenton's band, Kenton was there as the referee because that was the time when uh, the band had been uh, disbanded for a short time. So we decided to put a little bit different twist on it tonight and feature music from Woody's second herd and all the great things by Shorty Rogers and Ralph Burns and Al Cohn and so on. And then we're going to hear music from the Progressive Jazz Orchestra of Stan Kenton, a lot of uh, the Pete Rugolo material and the Pete Rugolo inspired material in particular. So with that, we'll turn things uh, back over to Ron Stout and the band for Al Cohn's The Goofin' Hour. 